Sometimes, after a rainstorm, one can see explicit evidence that the white light of the sun is composed of all the colors of the rainbow. Examining this visible light spectrum, one sees the familiar colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. But did you ever wonder if there are other colors? Colors beyond the red and violet ends of the visible light spectrum? These non-visible colors do exist. Light that has wavelengths longer than red includes the infrared, microwaves, and radio waves. Light that has higher energy than violet includes ultraviolet light, x-rays, and gamma rays. All of these are different forms of the same phenomenon. And because light is an oscillating wave of electric and magnetic fields, this is called the electromagnetic spectrum. In your everyday life, you're probably familiar with many of these types of light. The most common are radio waves. This multiband radio receiver includes not only FM and AM bands, but also several of the shortwave radio bands. Microwaves, as you might expect, are the radiation used to heat food in a microwave oven. Infrared light is commonly associated as heat radiation. Although visible light can't penetrate this smoke-filled room, an infrared view sees the warm-blooded humans inside. Ultraviolet light is associated with being out in the sunshine. One of the main advantages of sunglasses and sunscreen is to protect your eyes and skin from the ultraviolet or UV radiation of the sun. X-rays are common in medical situations. Because this high energy radiation passes through skin and soft tissue, one can examine the bones as shadows in an X-ray image. Gamma rays are the highest energy form of light, and they're somewhat uncommon. Although they can be produced in lightning strikes, they are more associated with nuclear reactions, as in this text ex test explosion from many decades ago. The electromagnetic spectrum includes all the various forms of light, and in this diagram, one can see that visible light is a relatively small portion of it. Naturally, astronomers want to use as many types of light in examining the universe. Here we have four images of the Whirlpool Galaxy in four different types of light, visible, infrared, ultraviolet, and x-rays. Each of these different types of light shows us a different characteristic of the same object. It is one of the great advances of the last century that astronomers now use every type of light across the electromagnetic spectrum in studying the cosmos.